Uh, welcome back to Data with Dominic. Today we're beginning a new series of videos on a new topic, which is the Custo Query Language. Um, the Custo Query Language, for those of you asking what it is, it's basically a tool that we use. It's a, it's a query language, as stated in the name, that we use to explore vast volumes of almost near real-time data. It's mostly used for real-time data, but it can be used for any uh, vast volumes of data. So. As Microsoft says, it's a powerful tool to explore your data and discover patterns, identify anomalies, and outliers. Uh, the important thing to note is that it's a read-only language, so you can read queries um, from data, but you can't make any modifications or you can't write data uh, to tables. The structure is similar. It uses uh, databases, tables, and columns. It uses schema entities, but um, it is a read-only language, and it's mostly used uh, with the data Azure Data Explorer tool which is like a sync uh, for your telemetry or any other log analytics kind of data. So it's huge, vast volumes of data that come in and uh, land up in a Azure Data Explorer cluster. And then you can use this query language uh, to query the data quickly and efficiently. Uh, so it's quite a powerful tool to know, especially as we go into the future with um, the volumes of data growing exponentially every year, as well as the, the importance of uh, log and telemetry data and how its stock is rising currently. So that's why I wanted to dive into this uh, playlist, dive into this topic for this next series of videos. Uh, so in this introductory video, what I was gonna do is just show you how to set up a free environment that you can use to work with um, the Custo Query language. So for that, what we need is the Azure Data Explorer, which is a fully managed, fast and fully managed data analytics service for real-time an analysis on large volumes of data streamings from a vast variety of sources like applications, website, IoT devices, and more. So basically, yeah, we use the Custo query language within Azure Data Explorer to query this uh, streaming data. So think of it as Custo query language is the SQL, and Azure Data Explorer is akin to um, uh, SSMS, or SQL Server Management Studio, where you have your uh, databases with the data stored. Only thing in the case of Azure Data Explorer, it's data coming from uh, it's log and telemetry data coming from or, or streaming data coming from various applications and IoT devices. So how you can set up a free environment to work with uh, Data Explorer is you just go to dataexplorer.azure.com and then you can sign in with your ID with your you need either you just need to create a Microsoft uh, account it's not issue and uh, or you need an account that is already enabled with some organizations as you're active directly. That's not, uh, maybe that's not important now. You just need to create a Microsoft account and then you can log in here. And then you come to this My Cluster. Once you come to My Cluster, it'll say, bring data to Azure Data Explorer and analyze for free. So you can create cluster and database and give it a name. So I'm just gonna call it Data with Dominic Free Cluster. Database name, My Database, I'll call it demo database and I'll put my uh, location as Europe. Let it be Europe and create. So once we have our cluster set up, you see we can get these clusters. We get the cluster name and all the cluster details. So these URIs are quite important. We'll be going through what they do in uh, future videos. And we also have our demo database created. So we can explore the environment and we have access to the query editor where we can write our Custo query languages, uh, Custo query language queries and um, uh, query analytical data from these uh, streaming databases. So we'll be diving into all of this, but mainly the Custo query language and its various operators, syntax, and functions um, in detail. So stay tuned for that in the upcoming videos. In the next video, I'll show you how to ingest data into uh, the Azure Data Explorer so you can work with some data. So definitely stay subscribed for that. And yeah, finally, if, you're, uh, if you have access to Microsoft Fabric as well, uh, you don't need Azure Data Explorer. You, there's an opportunity for you to work with um, KQL or Custo Query Language right uh, from within Fabric itself, where you can come down to the bottom and you can choose real-time analytics and then you have access to create a KQL data, database, and then you can create a KQL query set, which is basically, it opens up uh, a query editor environment, which you can connect to a KQL database and use KQL to query the same data. So if you're interested in Microsoft Fabric stuff, 
Uh, we're doing a lot of videos in that space as well, so definitely subscribe and hit the notification button. We'll be coming out with a video and event stream, which is a really powerful new feature in Fabric pretty soon. So again, uh, subscribe and hit that uh, bell icon so you don't miss any updates from us. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. And we'll see you guys in the next one.